Hi. Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Daddy. I am Dando, joined right now by my two adorable children, the young man Elliot and Holly Dando here. I should know what's going on, but what we're going to be doing today is unboxing these two massive 10 inch pop vinyl figures of Godzilla. We've got the Neon City Godzilla, the Neon Lights, and the standard 10 inch Godzilla. <laughs> Elliot is watching Mummy off camera. You happy, Holly? Look at Mummy. Mummy's silly off camera, isn't she? She's a good director. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing today, for you guys who have never watched Nerd Daddy before, uh, Elliot will take these out of the box, he'll give his thoughts, and then I'll give you guys a proper in-depth look at what these guys look like up close. And I'm really looking forward to showing you guys what they look like. So let's not waste any more time. Elliot, do you want to take them out, yeah? Yeah. Well, before that, we're going to say, Holly has to go nine eyes, alright? Yeah. So you say, nine eyes, Holly. Nine eyes, Holly. Say, love you. Hello. Say, bye, Holly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And there you go to Mummy. You ready? One, two, three. Boo! Woo! 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 Woo!
uh, the detail that's gone into this. Whoever sculpted this one clearly has a passion for the character. I mean, look at all the little individual scales there. I'll just slowly spin him around so you can get a good glimpse at just how well this has been made. This is... Yeah, they, I'm just going to say, just in general, the line of Godzilla vs. Kong, I think, are the best pops of release of 2021 so far. They're, the detail is fantastic. This is one of the best 10-inch pops Funko I've ever done. This and um, the, the Kong one, which I haven't seen in person yet, but if they're anything like these ones, you're going to be really happy with them. I saw the film, was a big fan of it, really, really enjoyed it, so I'm glad that these turned out so well. These, what I plan on doing with these guys is having them in the cinema room when I eventually have my own cinema room and having these on display. So I have the standard Kong and the standard Godzilla, this guy here next to each other on the other side. I'll have the neon versions as well. Um, but yeah, just spin around once more. Just check out all the individual scales. Look at that, in particular, look at the spine. Like this, this thing, and this thing here, it feels like it's worth the $80 Australian. I'm not sure what they are in the States, but we pay $80 Australian here. And it's worth every dollar. I mean, it feels like a solid piece. You feel like you're getting your money's worth. Sometimes you get 10-inch pops and they're just bigger versions. Uh, they, they just look like big pops. They look like big toys. This this one doesn't look like a toy. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, look at it. It doesn't look like a toy at all. It looks like a proper designer figure. I mean, you don't have to be a Funko fan to appreciate this. So check it out there. Look at all of the detail. This is fantastic. But what I'm really looking forward to doing right now is giving you guys an up-close look at the Neon City Godzilla, the Neon Lights one, the Blue Godzilla, and then we'll do a comparison of the two. So, stay tuned. All right, so it's safe to say I am not disappointed at all with this uh, Neon City Godzilla, the Neon Lights. Check it out. This is, I'm not going to say it's better than the standard one, because the standard one's good for its own reasons, because it's just your classic Godzilla. But, I mean, if you're not a Funko fan, you're probably going to be more drawn towards this one here, because... It just looks like a really cool piece, and it's actually really clever. I, I, I would never have thought to have made this kind of design for Godzilla, but the Funko, the Funko folks have done a good job with this. Uh, it's to give the impression of in the in the movie, no spoilers here, but in the movie, Kong and Godzilla duke it out in a certain city that has lots of neon lights, and all the lights are reflecting on the on the characters when they're battling, and Godzilla looks very blue. I mean, blue is the color of his radiation and his heat wave and everything as well in general so uh it only makes sense but this here is really really awesome it's the exact same mold as the as the standard one i've just shown you before but it's just got really cool blue texture throughout so he's got light blue spine there he's got a little bit of specks of blue all throughout him here so on the front of his face and whatnot he's got all speck speckled blue um but uh yeah there's not really much more to say about these they are so well detailed and like I said, really feel like they're worth the, the price of a 10-inch pop. If all 10-inch pops were like this, then I'm sure I would buy more. Because um, they're very, very expensive. But this guy here, like I said, uh, one of the, the Godzilla pops in general and the Kong ones, I'm, I'm assuming, if they're as good as these, are going to be some of the best pops of 2021. So if you're able to get your hands on this exclusive one, make sure you do. They will not be around for long, particularly now the films. Out, everyone's going to want this one in particular, I think. This one, these Neon City Godzilla and Kongs are going to go really fast. So if you can get your hands on one, make sure you do so. I'm very, very happy that I have. So let's not waste any more time. Let's do the comparisons. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the comparison of the 10-inch standard Godzilla with the 10-inch Neon City Godzilla. Which one is your favorite? I think, for me, it's really hard to choose. They're both are great in their own right. This, if you're a fan of just the standard classic Godzilla, can't go past it. But this one is just so unique and different. And if you've seen the film... It's one of the best scenes in the film when they're battling it out and the, the the city lights and neon city lights are reflecting on the on the characters. So it's hard for me to choose. I think if I was going to only if I only had the eighty bucks, I can only buy one of these. Well, I'm going to go for these. Being the collector, I'm going to buy this one because I know this one's going to be sought after in a few years to come. This one's going to be hard to find. This one will probably be around for a while. You'll be able to pick it up here, there, and everywhere. But this one here being the exclusive, I think it's Walmart in the states. I'm not too sure. I picked it up. Picked these both up at Pop Culture. Uh, I was very glad I did because they both are so awesome. I'm going to get the standard Kong and the Neon City God, uh, Kong as well. And I'll do a video comparing all four as well. So look out for that one in future weeks when the, the Kong finally arrives here in Australia. But I think if you're going to get one of these, make sure you get this one here. This one is just so... The, the Neon City Godzilla. Make sure you get this one. It's just so different, like I said. And you don't have to be a Funko fan to appreciate it. My wife, Nicola, nerd mummy, she is by no means... A, uh, a Godzilla fan, a movie buff, movie nerd. But even she, when she saw these, she went, oh, wow, they are um, pretty impressive. And it's true. Um, these are 
some of the most impressive 10 inch pops that Funko have ever done, really. I mean, check it out. The, the detail of them is just so good. But you look at them side by side. Like I said, classic fans are going to want this one. If you're just a collector, knowing that you want your pop to go up in value, this one's probably going to go up in value a lot more, the Neon City one being the exclusive. But if you want my recommendation, if you've got the money, drop some money on both. Get them both. They're going to be great. They look fantastic as a set. Uh, my eventual plan is to get both the Kongs as well and then put them side by side on either side of like a TV and like a display kind of thing. Uh, these are so cool. I mean, if you've got a kid, which kid... <laughs> What kid wouldn't want these giant Godzillas just in their room? I mean, obviously, you can, the thing is you can play with these too, but they're a bit of a weapon. So maybe not little kids. Uh, big kids like myself are going to uh, appreciate these, but even little kids as well. They are just so, they're so well made. So like I said, the Neon City Godzilla is the one I'd probably drop the money on if you're only going to buy one, just purely for the value of it. But you decide. Um, they, they both look great. I'm sure you'd be happy with either of them. So... The Standard Godzilla and the Neon City Godzilla. Comment below and let me know what you think of either one. Which one you think is the best? High five. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our unboxing of the new two 10-inch Godzilla pop model figures, the Neon City one and the uh, standard 10-inch Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Kong film. Elliot and I both decided that this is our favorite one. If you're going to only buy one of these, get the blue one, but they both do look great. As you can see, side by side, they look like a really cool little set. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, comment below what you think of these pops and which pops you like to unbox in future videos. Can you see in the camera? Who's in there? Say hi. Hi. There's lots of people in there. Um, Holly will be returning in the next video as well, but she had to go nine eyes. But Holly, she, she needs to nine eyes, doesn't she? Yeah, Holly needs nine eyes. But Elliot's still here. As you can see, he's a big boy now. He turns three in a couple of months. Can you believe it? Three years old. Unbelievable. I'm old. You're not that old. You're small. I'm old. You're not old. I'm You're old. a big boy though, aren't you? I'm a big boy. You're a big boy. Right, do you want to sit forward? We're going to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy enjoyed our video. And we'll catch you guys the next time. Say thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks, thanks for, for nothing. Not thanks for nothing. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> hey, dude, you want more thing? Yeah. Guess what? You're mad and I'm not. Ah, oh, I'm mad and you're not? Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs>